So getting into the video guys, I wanted to briefly go over this squat session that I had footage from from a few months ago actually from when my buddy Nick was in town from Colorado and um, we squatted with my buddy Alex Olm who's actually running one of my customized workout programs. Um, he's made a ton of progress. He actually just hit 405 by 6 on deadlift um, a week or two ago and um, he's just making a ton of strength gains and um, he's feeling really consistent and really structured with the program so I'm definitely happy to hear that. That's actually him right now um, hitting 275 and um, as you just saw I hit 315 for 3. This was a few months ago so I actually hit 315 for 8. I believe like a month after this and um, that was about like three or four weeks ago at this point now so um, definitely making improvements in my in my strength rep ranges and also just with my body weight overall the last year or so since I've been working at my personal training job in person I've been getting up super early in the morning um, and having to kind of just really um, restructure my whole sort of schedule and that's kind of really hampered my ability to eat the way I want to and um, have enough time to eat and that, all that sort of thing and it's all just excuses um, because I definitely definitely could have made time for it but it's one of those things where throwing things in the mix like that definitely play a role in your progress so especially with these strength rep ranges in these these max effort sort of um, lifts so as you guys see obviously I'm able to make progress I'm able to put on some size um, and maintain the physique that I have but it was a lot more difficult when you're when you're thrown in the mix of a daily um, sort of grind where you're, you're going to work every day or super early in the morning um, and then you're also trying to do the the two other businesses that I'm running as far as um, uh, my, my, my social media for, for my coaching and all that sort of stuff and then also with um, my photography and videography business but it's a blessing and I'm glad to have that sort of busy lifestyle but when it comes to these sort of rep ranges and these sort of um, one rep maxes and that sort of thing it's definitely hard to come by when your your rest and your nutrition and everything kind of suffers accordingly so it's kind of that give and take in life and you got to find that balance of what works and what doesn't for you and then your situation and, and also your goals too you know what I mean so I enjoy training enough where just going to the gym and having fun in the gym is is satisfying to me but um, once that motivation comes back where I feel like I really want to go after those those PRs again um, it's definitely exciting so that's kind of where I'm at again too being that I have more of a flexible schedule again and I'm able to kind of focus a little bit more on my nutrition and my own health um, I think it's gonna benefit in the long run so um, that's something you guys can look forward to I'm gonna have more content out I'm gonna have a little bit more um, time to make content that you guys are enjoying and um, yeah so you guys can definitely look forward to that um, I just wanted to kind of briefly go over the rest of the workout here. Um, I worked up to a triple and then I just hit a single at 335. Um, that was kind of the plan for the day. And um, so then I moved on to more high volume work after my, my squat. Um, so then I did 3 by 8 I believe on RDLs. Um, and I did 225 which is actually pretty heavy for me on RDLs. I've never done that before this day actually. Um, and then I moved on to some more higher volume stuff. So I'm doing um, some, uh, some goblet squats. Um, close stance, really focusing on the quads, going for about 10 to 12 reps for three sets. And then also, um, after that, you just see me doing some lying hamstring curls. Um, I believe I just did three sets of 10 to 12 there as well, paired with um, some leg extensions. So just a very typical leg day of mine, nothing too crazy, not too high volume, but um, I wanted to kind of get in some strength work while my buddy was here in town and um, start feeling a little bit better. But like I said, this was a few months back. Um, if you see me on Instagram, you've seen that I've hit 315 um, a little bit more uh, eff effectively and efficiently form-wise and also hit it for um, eight reps um, beyond this. So it's one of those things where I was kind of gauging how I was feeling. I am about five pounds heavier than I was in this video um, so that does make a huge difference with my strength rep ranges and just my overall um, ability to kind of push through those max effort weights um, so that's where I'm excited to kind of get my nutrition on point and start feeling a little bit better in the gym and start hitting some PRs again and get my form and sort of um, uh, central nervous system down again feeling acclimated to those heavier weights um, so yeah Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, hopefully it wasn't too much rambling and too much of an update, but I wanted to kind of get you familiarized with what's going on in my life right now and kind of have a little bit more understanding of what's going on. So um, thank you guys all for the support. It's crazy that I'm able to kind of get to this point where I'm able to work for myself completely. And um, yeah, so you guys definitely, definitely are, are uh, you're a big part of it. So thank you. I really appreciate it and I hope that you guys 
all enjoy my channel and can find some value through it and um, hopefully learn something. So I'll talk to you guys very soon. Um, a new video will be out in a few days. And uh, yeah, if you guys have questions, if you need anything, chances are it's in the description. Um, apparel, um, my new at-home workout routine or full coaching all can be found in the description. Um, if you guys have questions, DM me on Instagram or email me. I always answer all my emails and all my DMs. Um, so don't hesitate, all right? Have a good rest of your day, guys, and please like the video if you did enjoy it, and subscribe if you haven't already. Peace out. Your meat, and you like squeeze it out, and you take your spoon and just like... Wait, what do you do with the meat? You squeeze it out, <laughs> just like put it in your hand, squeeze it, you take a spoon and you squeeze it into the, into the boiling water, and it like cooks it all. And then on top of that, once the meat's cooked, you add all of your cabbage and bok choy and your onions, and then you eat with rice. So like I, I'll take like two cups of steamed rice and a big ass bowl of that. And it's like, that's like 1300 calories. It's easy 1300 Fire. Yeah, I like this like wide angle. I never use this anymore.